Dr. Dennis Parsons Burkett, M.D., February 28, 1911, March 23, 1993, was an Irish surgeon who made significant advances in health, such as the etiology of a pediatric cancer, now called Burkitt's lymphoma, and the finding that rates of colorectal cancer are higher in those who eat limited dietary fiber. During World War II, Burkett served with the Royal Army Medical Corps in England and later in Kenya and Somaliland. After the war, Burkett decided his future lay in medical service in the developing world and he moved to Uganda. He eventually settled in Kampala and remained there until 1964. Burkett in 1957 observed a child with swellings in the angles of the jaw. About two weeks later, I looked out the window and saw another child with a swollen face, and began to investigate these jaw tumors. Having an intensely inquiring mind, Burkett took the details of these cases to the records department, which showed that jaw tumors were common, and, were often associated with other tumors at unusual sites in children in Uganda. He kept copious notes and concluded that these apparently different childhood cancers were all manifestations of a single type of malignancy. Burkett published a sarcoma involving the jaws of African children. The newly identified cancer became known as Burkett's lymphoma. He went on to map the geographical distribution of the tumor. Burkett, together with Dr. Dennis Wright, published a book titled Burkitt's Lymphoma in April 1970. His second major contribution came when, on his return to Britain, Burkitt compared the pattern of diseases in African hospitals with Western diseases. He concluded that many Western diseases which were rare in Africa were the result of diet and lifestyle. He wrote a book, Don't Forget Fiber in Your Diet, which became an international bestseller. Burkitt suggested that higher fiber intake can reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. This was based on observations of the difference in patterns of diseases between Western and traditional African societies. Burkitt noted the lower rates of colorectal cancer in African countries compared to the West. He also found that African diets were generally higher in dietary fiber. While a 2020 meta-study found no clear connection RTFGV5 a 2020 study confirmed the protective effect if the source of fiber is whole grains. Research suggests that a diet high in dietary fiber is also advised as a precaution against other diseases such as heart disease and diabetes.